What's up guys? This is Manoj Vapani. I welcome you all on behalf of the ADUpedia world. Fasten up your seatbelts, we are about to take off with the first topic of the day and that will be... So guys, this is about the steps that need to be undertaken by you as an auditor if in case you are applying the computer assisted audit techniques in your audit environment. So number one, what should be the step? You need to set the objective of the app cat application why you are doing that okay you need to determine that objective of doing and using that cat application in your audit procedures number one you need to set your scope as well as your objective number two you need to determine the content and accessibility of the entity's file what kind of files can you access there are some of the restricted access from the client end client usually asks sir we won't be able to provide you the access of this particular location file location or we won't be able to provide you the access of this particular file so you need to determine the kind of content and the kind of accessibility of the entities file that you'll be able to go through if in case you'll be applying cat number three you need to identify the specific files which need to be examined auditing is going through its inherent limitation all the time which is the time constraint so you can go and think about having the complete audit done in totality leaving no suit un undone that's that's just not possible okay you need to go for the samples okay because there is the time paucity of all the time you need to identify all those specific files that need to be examined by you accordingly number four is you need to understand the kind of relationship between different data tables okay there could be one file okay which is being linked with another table okay so what's the kind of relationship between both the tables you need to understand that because uh, that is where, where uh, this database needs to be examined properly number fifth will be you need to define the specific test or procedures accordingly and the kind of related transactions and the balance which are going to be affected so what all will be the kind of tests which you will be applying while you are auditing what all procedures will you be like adopting while you are going for the application of cat you need to define them up next arrangement with user and it departments it department relationship the kind of relationship that you should have with the client's it department is enormously important guys because they are the persons who are actually going to take care of your each and every request wherever you don't find something on your file location so they are the ones whom uh, you need to maintain that kind of perfect relationship okay so don't disturb them up anywhere you need to have the perfect kind of arrangement with your client as well as their IT department. Uh, next will be identify the designing personnel. Who is the person who is going to design all those procedures for you, your end, as far as the client management is concerned. So who all will be appointed to take care of you while you will be applying CAT in your audit procedures. Identify all those designing personnel accordingly. Okay. You need to identify those personnel which are, uh, which may participate in that design and application of CAT along with you. Then you need to refine the kind of estimates of the cost and benefits. What will you get if in case uh, you'll be applying that CAD? CAD basically will involve you using some of the audit softwares. That software is going to cost you a lot. Okay, that won't be a petty expense for you guys. And that won't be a nominal expense. So you need to understand the cost benefit analysis. Let's suppose you go for a, a buying of a particular kind of software just to ensure that you audit that particular client in a better way. And the cost is let's suppose 50 lakh rupees okay you'll be adopting and implementing the same somehow you got to know that the client is willing to pay just you uh, the fees of let's say 10 lakh rupees is it feasible absolutely not it's just not feasible why you'll be implementing something for uh, merely taking up the money like 10 lakh rupees and for the same you'll be like adopting for a, or incurring a cost of 50 lakh rupees that's just not feasible okay so you need to have a fair idea about the estimates of the cost and the kind of benefits you'll be able to achieve out of the same Next will be, you need to ensure that the use of CAT is properly controlled. CAT is something which can be used for the best of your benefit, but it can be, it can prove dangerous if in case it's not having the authorized access on time. Okay, let's suppose there is some kind of unauthorized access which goes through them. Clients data can get leaked. Clients confidential data can get leaked and embezzled at any moment. One unauthorized access and you're gone. So you need to ensure that you use the CAD computer audit assisted techniques with the help of that software in a properly controlled manner. Next, you need to arrange the administrative activities. Okay, all the kind of administrative activities that you do during your particular audit, you need to arrange them up in such a manner that you get the work done in the least possible time. Okay, and accordingly, you can finish up your audit on time. Audit basically gets delayed at the last moment usually. So 
all you need to do is right at the beginning of ensuring that the application of CAT is done, you need to ensure that the arrangement of all those administrative activities is done at the right beginning. Then second would be uh, that you need to reconcile the data, which is likely to be used for CAT. Okay, what all input data will you'll be like inputting in that particular system? You need to reconcile the data first of all, in order to ensure that you are inputting something which is relevant, accurate and complete. If in case that input is not relevant, accurate or complete, definitely it's going to disturb your processing as well as your output. So no need to go further. All you need to do is just first reconcile the data which you will be utilizing for that cat. Then accordingly, you can execute that cat application. And finally, you'll be able to evaluate the kind of results you'll get from that. That will be your output. And what do you need to do with that output? All you need to do is just document all those cats and assess the kind of effect for that changes which can be done. So are you guys perfect with them? So these are the steps which need to be undertaken by you as an auditor if in case you are applying or thinking about making the application of CAT in your audit programs. I hope I was able to provide an ample amount of examples. All you need to do is just go and revise this topic. Let's move towards the next topic. In fact, the last topic of this particular presentation. So audit under CIS environment is just going to say you goodbye once you'll be done with this particular topic. This will be controlling the CAT application and the kind of procedures which you'll be requiring in order to go for the CAT applications. So guys, this is something which is all about your involvement in the CAT application. Okay, CAT application is a kind of a software, okay, which will be prepared by the persons who will be involved in this industry, like IT industry, basically. So the ones who will be coding the programs, ensuring database management, all, all these things actually. So what will be your involvement as an auditor? Okay, how you can control that CAT application? This topic is gonna help you up in understanding your involvement and what procedures you should take care as an auditor while the CAT application is being made and implemented. So uh, there are some of the specific procedures, guys, which are necessary to control the use of CAT depending on a particular kind of application, obviously. In establishing that particular control in establishing that particular control you as an auditor you need to consider the need basically in order to have the knowledge about a few things okay number one is the approval of the specifications okay what all specifications that you need you want okay there is something which you need as a customized one okay according to your own needs so you'll be approving all those specifications accordingly and you need to conduct a review of the work which is being performed by that cat you'll get to know okay this is something which I wanted from that particular software. Is it actually providing me that same stuff? Okay, cool, perfect, approve it, go ahead. Next, you need to review the kind of entity's general controls, okay? What different kind of controls is that particular entity having in its premises? This is something which is very important, okay? Why? Because this is something which is gonna con contribute to the integrity of your cat. What all application that you need to have, if in case the general controls are very poor, you'll be having an advanced application software for yourself. If in case the controls are pretty much good, pretty much satisfactory, you'll be having the application and you'll be incurring such costs which will be like okay or fine or sufficient kind of stuff for you. So for example, the control over uh, that program basically changes and you just get to know that okay, there is something which is lacking in that particular software. So you'll be going for that option of having the advanced kind of application or another example could be like you're having some kind of computer facility in a client's premises, but somehow it doesn't match up with your CAT application. So what's gonna happen is you'll be processing your CAT application with some other computer facility, maybe your own laptop or maybe something else. So you need to review the entity's kind of general controls that are available over there. And third will be the ensure that apt integration of the output is being done. You need to get this that appropriate kind of integration of the output by the auditor needs to be done during the entire audit pro procedure. Okay, this is going to be controlled only and only if in case you give your 100% attention while the kind of this application software is being prepared and implemented. So you need to have that controlled amount of attention and you need to be a part of it all the time. Only then you'll be able to approve all those specifications. You can review the entity's general controls as well. And finally, you'll be able to adapt that integration for the output all during your entire procedure. Now, coming to the kind of procedure that you need to have, okay, in order to ensure that you become an active part of that CAT application, which is being made customizedly solely on your request. Number one, you need to participate in the design and testing. This is something which is very crucial. It is not the responsibility of the IT persons or the client management only who are going to provide you that kind of software. It is your responsibility as, as an auditor as well. Though I do believe that we guys don't possess that 
advanced uh, technology based skills but however having said that we still need to ensure that we as an auditor we need to participate in the design and testing of all those caps so that once there is some kind of problem we are already aware of it okay that was something which was which already occurred the earlier interval of time so that is a problem which is already in your awareness and you can implement accordingly your design and testing on the further fronts as well next you need to check the coding of the program okay this is something which is highly technical i don't expect out of you guys or in fact me also i won't be able to check the coding of a particular program that is something which is which can be done by the high tech professionals only but still you need to be abreast with the kind of basic codings that what can be changed accordingly so you need to check if in case the coding of the program is basically done in order to ensure that it conforms with the detailed program specifications or not then you can ask the entity staff to review it okay whether the same is being done in a correct manner or not that is that can be asked for that matter okay you need to provide them the kind of operating system in uh, instructions with which you can ensure that the software will run in the entity's computer installation very well because they are the ones where that's the only place when you need to adapt this particular thing done so you need to be aware of this thing and you need to be very much sure that your software which you have made whether the same is going to be actually working at the client's premises or not whether their systems are literally capable enough to handle that much load for your application or not so ask the entity staff to review that program once it's made by your uh, persons next run that audit software that particular software in the small test file first of all never 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 go for the large data at the first site always start and basically trial run should always be done on the small test files in order to ensure that your audit software is working perfectly fine then you need to check whether the correct files are being used input is something extremely crucial if input is wrong input is in appropriate input is inaccurate it's not complete it's non unreliable then the only problem which will happen is you won't get the correct output at any cost so check whether the correct files are being used or not finally obtain the evidence of all those proper audit software functioning okay that's working fine cool documented another application is being used it's working fine cool documented and finally establish the appropriate security measures if in case there is some kind of gap your data doesn't get lost or your data doesn't get embezzled by any other person intruders and cyber security is a threat currently it's going on completely so you need to establish all those security measures as well so guys this was all about controlling the cat application why you should be a good part of it why it is important for you to pay attention while your cat application is being made and how you can proceed with the procedures in order to implement that cat application from uh, right right at the beginning from the preparation of the same incorporating and implementing and finally getting it done with the kind of software facilities that are available at the client so this was all about this particular topic with this particular topic we are thorough with the audit under cis environment this was the last presentation in which i am going to conclude this topic so all you need to do is guys just revise this topic because that is something which is extremely important my efforts my each and everything that i'm pouring out here okay that's going to be in vain if in case you don't cooperate so believe me your examination is not just your examination that's ours completely perfect guys with this i'll say thank you on behalf of the edupedia world well, keep interacting via questions queries uh, with the youtube comment boxes i will love to answer each one of your queries and responses believe me if in case you have liked our video do give us a thumbs up that's going to act as a motivational booster for we people as well stay connected guys that will help us in understanding your needs way 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 better guys love you all take care bye